My leg is cut off. Yeah, you're not gonna have your whole body in there. You're too tall. Okay. Cool. So, look at your camera. Do I look like I'm looking in the camera? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. No, I can't. You can't be thinking. Do you know or not? Oh, I'm trying to see. It looked like you were looking straight. So, I'm looking at the camera right now. Yeah. Hey guys. Da -da -da. Okay. Uh, so this would be, oh, I can get on mic stand. Oh, steal from the church. Okay, but in the meantime, in between time, this is what, another, oh. <laughs> Through the cave. This could be, but I'm turned this way, so I would have to turn this way to face the camera. All right, so this is one look that you could do with the guests. I you know. Um, um, it's, let me think, we're interviewing, um, Chef Jermaine, Teach Me Tuesday. Ah, I was really about to drink that because my coffee's over there. Um, but yeah, this would be nice. But I'm going to look, as I'm interviewing, I'm looking at the person. I'm not looking at my camera until uh, we go back to break. Talk. Da 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 da. How do you get funding? Now look at your camera. Yeah, we would just have a conversation like this. I like this for more, oh, I like this for news, to be honest. You would sit there too? I don't think so. Oh. No, I'm you'd not. You'd be a complete co-host. Huh? You'd be a complete co-host. I know, right? I mean, hey, we could do it. And then have the talk, talk, talk. Da, 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 da. Get funding. Uh, Baton Rouge crawfish, not Chinese crawfish. Okay, so this fan's not hitting me at all. Alright, yeah. Oh yeah, you see it on the video. I know it's real. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is something, um, maybe if you're interviewing a woman, this is very comfortable for a woman because they could just chill on the, on the, on the couch. Then where they interview a man? I'll see men sitting up like this. I'm small. So I just feel like ladies would be like, they're a little bit more comfortable on the couch like this, talking. Um, there, I see more manly, sitting in the chair, rah, rah, rah. Um, okay, well, how do you feel about this? How you feel about this? No, this is good. No, I mean, I like, I love them. Yeah. Yeah, there we got this. Don't forget to subscribe and get your speak your success mug, everybody. I don't know what that mug say on there. Huh? I said I don't know what that mug say on there. I saw that. Karma. <laughs> okay, so if we were doing a, so you look in your camera, introduce, just say. Say we're doing another Ash Jones thing. Just do, do another it. who? Say we're doing another Ash Jones. Ash, you know. Oh, welcome to another Ash Jonathan segment. In this segment, we're going to unpack some topics, see what questions we got in the bag. Producer Britt, what we got? All right, you ready? All right, let's go. They was coming in kind of hot today, okay? <laughs> coming <laughs> okay. in hot. Um, oh, okay. 
you're married five five years, right? It's Six? gonna be five years in December. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Okay, what do couples look up to the most or want? What? What? Mm. What couples do you look up to the most, or want your own life to look like? So what are the oh so uh, there's one one couple I say we look up to. Ray Shuford and his wife Yolanda. Okay. They are, I'm not sure, they, they got married maybe a couple years before us, but they're a little bit older in their journey. But just seeing how they communicate, how they operate with one another, as well as Tina Robinson, Dwayne Robinson, they're our son's godparents. Oh, okay. Th these, these are two couples we look up to. Tina and Dwayne have been married for like 20 something years. Oh, wow. But yeah, just seeing how they operate, seeing how they move, seeing how they love each other. Mm -hmm. Those two couples. Oh, up to. Beautiful. Um, hmm, what are some red flags in a friendship? What are you don't have friends. So. Uh, what the hell? Yes, I do have friends. <laughs> I have a couple. But what, what are red flags in a friendship if it's one sided? So if it's always one person asking, 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 asking for money, for time, for energy, mm -hmm. for effort, but then they never reciprocate anything. Major red flag. It's also another red flag if one friend is always like negative mm -hmm. or toxic, get them away from you because they're talking about other people that they're in a relationship I'm with. teaching, just. Oh, okay. Uh, so, okay, so what are red flags in a relationship? <laughs> toxic friends. Friendships. Toxic what, what, are, what, are, what are red flags in a friendship? Toxic people who talk about people all the time, get them away from you. What's another red flag? You don't talk about nobody. I try not to. I try my best not to. Because I know, cause I know I'm not perfect. I don't want that. I don't want that energy. You don't like gossip. Because eventually you're going to find yourself on the other side of that. Ain't gossip been healthy a little bit? Get you, it off. You know that's not healthy. A little vent session? Yeah, don't. Vent, vent of the guy. Vent, venting, venting and gossip are different. But you don't want me to teach, so I ain't going to teach. Venting and now gossip and talking about somebody is different. I can tell you the difference. Mm -hmm. Gossip is it might not be true. Gossip is true. I know it's true. I'm just gossiping with you. I'm just telling you the information. Talking about somebody, you know, talking about somebody, <laughs> that is you just talking mess and you're just, you know, probably spreading rumors. You don't know if the information is true or not. You're just, you just don't like that person and you're just talking mess about them. Now, if I gossip with you, I'm telling you stuff that I already know. I'm just gossiping. Either way, I don't want it near me. All right, fine. No I gossiping. That, I don't want that toxic energy You can't be Jonathan's me. friend if you gossip. I don't want it, man. All right, come on. Mm -hmm. It's hard enough being black man in America. Shoot. Sure. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, what else we got? Keep it going. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. A couple okay. more. A couple okay, more. okay, okay. You ready? You ready? Uh, how you feel about the election, Jonathan? Man, so it's just... How the, the red and the blue, how, how you feeling? How, how do I feel? It's awakening. Mm -hmm. One, with, with Trump winning the election and hearing what he said he wants to do with education. Mm -hmm. It's really sobering having a 20-month-year-old baby boy and another baby coming soon, mm -hmm. right? So taking more intentionality now into reading, like what are some of the policies he's really looking to apply, but then also me now having to just make the best decision with the resources and the education tools that we have. So, I mean, on that side, and I mean, it, there's nothing to say about Kamala's camp because, I mean, they lost. So right. those things aren't going in legislation. But right. so just seeing the policies that apply and, you know, just making the best decisions from there. Okay. Um, what does mental health mean to you? Mental health to me is essential. Okay. And and through it being essential. Give it some I, personality. You're dumbing me down. You're you're, you're boring me right now. What is, okay, what's mental what's mental health mean to me? Talk to somebody. Oh. Talk to a friend, talk to a counselor. You go or, to counselor? Huh? You go to counselor? I do go to counselor. Oh. Me and my wife go to a therapist and I have my own. Okay. But talk to somebody, right? Mm -hmm. And the other side of that, I think, is self-care. And I'm not yeah. teaching. I'm just going to say this piece. 
But like doing things that you know mm -hmm. decrease your stress, doing things that you enjoy, doing things that bring you joy. So doing those things, mm -hmm. I, feel, I feel like all that goes with mental health. Okay, well, you know I'm reading my book, The uh, Mountain Is You. Okay, The okay. Mountain Is You. Okay. I got to... This girl, get, I love get, this book. Get, the, get the book. I'm about to get the book. I'm about Be, to get become, the book. <laughs> no, become an affiliate with Amazon because you refer that book so often. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You know this segment can't just be five minutes, Britt. This segment's going to end up being longer than five minutes. I'm going to tell you right now. What you mean? This is it's six minutes. Okay. You're you going to see it's going to be longer than six minutes. Okay, so. It's going to be people's favorite segment. I know. So. And it's going to give you a lot of content, too. So. I'm reading, I read. Okay, one thing. You're going to have to have your stuff already pulled up. I know, I'm going to have this in my, I'm going to have it right here. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm at the part of the book where she's talking about preparing for radical change. Mm. Check me out. Yeah, yeah. One of the biggest reasons that people avoid doing important internal work is that they recognize if they heal themselves, their lives will change sometimes drastically. If they come to terms with how unhappy they are, it means that they will have to temporarily be more uncomfortable, ashamed, or scared while they start all over. Wow. Isn't that crazy? So. Yeah. What is mental health? The per To you. That right there. That's what mental health is for me. Man, hearing that, the word, the word that comes to mind is healing. Yeah, yeah, because she says. Healing. yeah. She says, right, she says, avoid doing important internal work yeah. that they recognize if they heal themselves, their lives will change. Man. Sometimes drastically. Oh, my goodness. That's a, that's that a word crazy? there. There's this a word is only there. the 25th page. This is only the 25th. <laughs> I'm in chapter two. She's going deep. Page. That girl going deep like an anchor. Wait a minute. And it's, it's wild. Okay, I'm going to read you one more thing. Dang. Okay. This that's one's, good. she's talking about self sabotage, right? No, mm. no, 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 no. She's talking about. The path begins right where you are. And then I highlighted this section. She goes, when you decide you truly do not ever want to feel a certain way again, you set out on a journey of self-awareness, learning, and growth that is radically reinvent, well, that has you radically reinvent who you are. Mm. Okay, I lied. I lied. There's one more thing in here that's, that's really good. That's good, though. I know. This one right here is even better. Man. Okay, you go. This this for you. Let's see what you got. Okay, but it's under the section self sabotage comes from unconscious negative associations. Mm. This book is deep. Okay. Yeah, that seems like it. Okay, so I'll just read the last the sentence. Your self image is difficult to adjust because your brain's confirmation bias works to affirm your pre existing beliefs about yourself. That's that psychology right there. That's crazy right there. Man, that made me think of... That's see, crazy. Yeah, I know you said think about teaching. We got to teach a little bit. Okay. That, that, but that talks a little bit. That goes and pairs with the self-fulfilling prophecy. Uh -huh. So in psychology, you talk about the self-fulfilling prophecy. So if you're a son, broken home, the mom be like, you just like your daddy. You just like your daddy. You just like your daddy. Mm. Eventually, that person believes it, and mm -hmm. then they accept it as their reality. Mm -hmm. Self-fulfilling. That's good, though. That's the mountain good. is you, baby. The yeah, mountain that's is good. you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. telling you, man. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, book club. Book club. <laughs> book club. <laughs> man. Okay, okay, okay. One more thing, y'all. One more thing. See, that's the whole segment right there. Segment says, right there. Let's, okay. Let's be clear about something. To put an end to your self-sabotaging behavior absolutely means that change is on the horizon. Mm. Hold on. Change is on the horizon. The e your new life is going to cost you your old one. It's going to cost you your comfort zone and your sense of direction. It's going to cost you relationships and friends. It's going to cost you being liked and understood. It doesn't matter. Mm. It doesn't matter. And that's true. Wait, and what's the I, part that don't matter? All of that stuff. Losing the old you. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, if you're trying to grow. If you're trying to grow, it doesn't it matter. Doesn't wow, matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She deep. That's real. Yeah. That made me think, man, yeah, because I, I was there. And that's what I'm, that's and I think that's where I am now because man. how I'm trying to I guess be more present online and mm -hmm. and 
knowing subconsciously what I really want to do, but yeah. self-sabotaging myself into safe thoughts, which is what she talks about. And mm -hmm. a safe thought is something like, oh man, I'm gonna be a, 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 a content creator and I'm gonna make $10,000 a post or $50,000 a post. I like, mean, I wish I could do that. You can do that, but you, you tell your mind that, oh, because this is never gonna happen to me, it's considered a safe thought, and you can joke and ha ha ki ki about it because mm -hmm. you know subconsciously it's never gonna happen because you know that you're not gonna do it. Wow. So instead of tricking yourself, and not tricking yourself, but instead of just telling yourself, hey, I'm not gonna do that, do it. Mm -hmm. And so that's where I've been on my Mountain is You journey and what she said, transform, transforming your self-sabotage into self-mastery. Mm, that's a strong title right there. It is. That's strong. So. Um, wow, that's good. So yeah, just hearing about that, dang, we're recording this is episode right here. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's that's where I am now. I'm being intentional about like how I'm thinking, my thoughts, and everything because I was thinking about this yesterday. You know, I'm 31, still young, no kids, not married, don't have a man. So it's like, <laughs> so it's like, which isn't a bad thing which though. Which isn't a bad thing. Because which isn't you talk a bad thing. That. You're like, Brittany, it's okay to be single. It's not a. It's not a bad thing. The Bible even talks about that because it talks about your, like your your divide. Because once the person gets married, you're divided. Like for instance, for me, you know, I have my my wife and I have my son, and these are different priorities versus being single. Like for you, mm -hmm. you know. You can just lock in on content. You can content right. create all day. You can go live Instagram yeah. live all day. <laughs> yeah. So you know it's one of those things. But either way, you know whatever whatever journey, whatever mm -hmm. mountain you decide right. is you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't self sabotage, but go into self mastery of that exactly. thing. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So that's what so I'm yeah doing. so yeah so that's just where I'm at. So me doing things that make me uncomfortable, knowing that I want to do them, go live post on Instagram. I see you getting your post game up. Post on Instagram Getting your post more, game up. Because I used to do it all the time and I stopped. So now I'm going back to it. So um, yeah, because it benefited, I was benefiting from it before and you know, I just slowed down and now I'm going back into it. So I'm happy about it. I'm yeah. happy about it. And plus I think you're in a dope spot too because the way you do content, you more, I mean, you, 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 you are on both sides because you do create with the with the voiceovers and all that, mm -hmm. but you also, you're in a space where you be doing the documenting, like yeah. you be recording stuff, and that makes it easy, because after you just record it, you just post it. True. So, True. yeah, boom. All right, well, that was uh, Ash Jones, I don't know, time with producer Brittany <laughs> Jonathan, that was uh, episode one, okay? <laughs> we outside. Okay. We outside. <laughs>